In previous video, we have seen that how we can mount the Google Drive to our Proxmox. So if I show you here right now, my Proxmox is already having the Google Drive mounted CD space MNT and in MNT I created the mount which is G Drive CD space G Drive. And right now, these are the files which were created. One is the file, one is the folder, and that folder is already available here. You can see this is my drive here. I'll be cleaning my complete Google Drive here, trash it, remove everything from here. And here, I'll be creating a folder, and its name will be Proxmox. Here, the name is Proxmox. And here, I'll be going to data center now. And in data center storage, add storage, and this will be again directory. And for directory, G drive. And here the directory will be slash mnt slash g drive slash this is the folder name that I have chosen Proxmox. Now, what you will be storing here disk images. ISO images, container template, VZ dump snippets. I'll be using mainly VZ dump backup and ISO images, and then add it over here. Now you can see here it will start loading Google Drive, and that's it. If you see the summary here, it will show you the total storage size. And if I go back here to Google Drive, click on Proxmox, it will create all those folders over here. Now, whatever backups you will do, it will be appearing here. Of course, it all depends on your internet bandwidth. It all depends on the storage that you have available in your Google Drive production server. I'm using Google Drive, so you can go for this package. So the same storage is shared across these both nodes. So I'll be creating a new container here just for the sake of this tutorial. So I'll be clicking a container ERP next. So I'll be using it for this purpose. I'll be installing Ubuntu. Disks local LVM 2GB. And in fact, CT template also could be created here, but I didn't uh, add it there at that time. Let me go back here. G drive. You can choose the container templates also here. If I go back here to G drive now, I can create the CD templates, download. So we'll be downloading Ubuntu 22.04 standard download. So it will be downloaded into the Google Drive. Template has been stored over here to Google Drive templates and the template has been stored over here. And if I want to create any new container from G Drive, I can now load the template it is fine but i won't be using google drive for saving templates or saving iso images mainly i'll be taking the backup on google drive so for example this particular one i'll be taking the backup of this so how i'll do the backup i'll just go back here to backup backup now and it will ask where you want to backup making the backup on local machine doesn't make sense of course only if in case the machine stops working then only it will help you otherwise if your server is crashed backup will be available on google drive or any external storage or on cloud so i'll be just taking the backup and now it has started creating the dump all right so you can see here that it has taken around one minute and 12 seconds to complete this backup and the backup must be available on the google drive if i go here to dumps refresh that dump you can see here that this vz dump alexi 102 is added over here and you can see here this particular backup location so location is g drive so in case i want to restore this i'll just click this restore so i'll be just doing restore i'll click on yes all right so one minute three seconds it took to restore from google drive if we consider the storage 2 gb is boot disk size and it has taken just one minute to restore it it is a good sign so this way you can take the backup let's move to the next lecture and see more about storage